This 10-year-old girl painted with big red lips, wearing mature clothes. In the face of the interviewer she looked flirtatious. Flirtatious behavior. The reporter also dumbfounded. What's more surprising is that this little girl is based on the director of this film. This is a film based on the real-life story of director Eva Elenisco. Violetta is a beautiful little girl who lives a simple and peaceful life with her grandmother since childhood. But what Violetta desires most is the love of her mother. Violetta's mother is an unknown photographer who is very busy at work and rarely comes home. Every time she comes home, she leaves in a hurry after dropping off money and gifts. So Violetta rarely has the opportunity to communicate with her mother. This day, Violetta's mother came to pick her up after school and took her to her studio upstairs for the first time. She untied Violetta's beautiful long hair and put her into a fancy dress and turned on the limelight to take her picture. She doesn't allow Violetta to smile innocently and makes her pose in all sorts of strange ways. Violetta practiced herself in the classroom to spend more time with her mother. The photos were so well received that her mother was so happy to pick her up from school, change her into a princess dress in front of a large crowd, and take her straight to a friend's house amidst the jeers of her classmates. The friend looked at the girl's picture and marveled at her mother's remarkable talent. Her mother began to intensify her efforts and the costumes she prepared for Violetta became more and more revealing. Even asking her to take pictures with scary statues, Violetta was scared. But she was more afraid of her mother's anger so she did what she said. Violetta's photos are introduced to the industry and the owner plans to fund an exhibition for her mother. But the current photos are not enough. The mother has a goal and starts to make even more excessive demands. Not only did she dress her in revealing clothes, but the scale of her posing requirements also increased. For the first time, Violetta showed resistance but she did not dare to refuse because she loved her mother. Gradually, Violetta's usual behavior became less childlike. She would take the initiative to fix her own makeup and move her body to the music. The hypocritical artists at the exhibition marveled at the girl's charming and bizarre photos. And her mother became a hit in the industry. And Violetta instinctively showed seductive poses in the face of journalists' interviews. After an exhibition, one of Violetta's photos was sold at a high price and was published in various magazines. Her classmates also found out about the photos she took and ridiculed her as a pervert. Violetta said, What the hell do you know? That's my mother's art. And rushed to fight with her classmates. She was justified on the surface. But in private she felt aggrieved and had to rely on her friends for comfort. What she had now was no longer enough for her mother. Her mother took her to a nobleman's house in England to take a bigger picture of her and the nobleman on a CD. For the first time, Violetta showed her anger. She saw the hypocritical nature behind her mother's love and felt disgusted by her behavior. And the photo shoot was not successful. The mother took her daughter to the amusement park in order to ease the relationship between mother and daughter. But Violetta still did not have any smile on her face. The mother ripped off the mask and said to Violetta, no matter how you reject, the photos taken before will continue to circulate. And said in spite of her daughter's disgust when she went to the toilet and secretly shot. Violetta was so disgusted that when she saw her mother's message in class, her emotions erupted and she was dragged out of the classroom by the teacher. But when she saw her mother letting others take pictures of her in her own clothes, she was filled with jealousy. She did not want her mother to share her love and attention with others and began to obey her mother again. But public comments from the outside world became increasingly negative and called her an incestuous monster. Violetta ran out frantically, trying to escape but with nowhere to go. Her mother repeats over and over that she did it all because she loves Violetta. Violetta is once again emotionally abducted. She is torn by the pain of this affection, but it is hard to let go of it. Until one day her grandmother died suddenly and Violetta knew that no one would treat her like a child anymore. She dresses more and more maturely swallowing fog on the balcony. Because of the wide circulation of the photos, her mother was also targeted by the public prosecutor's office. When the social worker comes to visit her home, she puts on cartoon clothes to make herself look like a good mother. But Violetta wouldn't let this opportunity go unnoticed. She dressed maturely and took the social worker upstairs to check out. With a messy room and a table full of food scraps, no one would think this was a normal family. Violetta offered to take care of her mother to tide her over the difficult time together. But the mother is still a thief. She sells the remaining negatives at a high price. This time, Violetta is really disappointed with her mother. But her mother still came to her room in the middle of the night and asked her if she could continue to take pictures in the future. Violetta broke down and went crazy. She ran to the balcony and pretended to jump off the building. But in fact, she spent the night in a cardboard box and drew her old self. 
The next day she went to the social worker to ask for help to get rid of all her mother's photos. The social worker says she doesn't have the power, only the judge does. At the end of her rope, Violetta steals a passerby's bag and is sent to juvenile hall. There, she cut her long hair and put on smoky makeup. Her mother came to see her at the facility. She heard the news and jumped out of the window. Her mother chased after her and said over and over again that she loved her. But this time, Violetta didn't look back. She changed from a child who longed for her mother's love to a precocious girl who ran away when she heard her mother's voice. This is the end of the story. As I said before, this story is based on the director's real-life experience. In reality, the director took her mother to court as an adult for mental abuse and won the case. And the story of Violetta also in this game of love success, free from the shackles of the mother to have freedom.